recitation entitled Hayseys at the Back for Columbia Phonograph Company of New York and London. There was eased in Percy's manner as he stepped into his place, right in Percy's wedding and a smile on Percy's face. And when responding to the cheers as he lately doffed his hat, no stranger in the crowd could help but Percy at the back. Ten thousand days were on him as he rubbed his hands with dirt. Five thousand tones of granite when he wiped them on his thumb. When the pitcher ground the ball into his hip, the science screamed in Percy days, a sneer curled Percy lip. And now the little covered spear come hustling through the air, and Percy stood watching it in the hearty grandeur air. Brought by the sturdy petsman, the ball unheeded fit. That is my tail, said Percy. Strike one, the empire said. From the benches, black of table, there went up a muffled roar, like the beating of storm waves on a stern and distant shore. Kill him, kill the empire, now it's coming on his hand, and it's likely they'd have killed him, had not Percy raised his hand. With a smile of Christian charity, great Percy's visit gone. He is the raising foremost, he bade the game go on. He signaled to the picker, and once more the ball is blue. But Percy still ignores it, and the umpire said, Break ball! Crag, crag, the maddened thousand strayed and echo and the crag. But a single look from Percy, and the audience was asked. They saw his face grow stern and cold. They saw his muscle strain. They know that Cathy wouldn't let that ball go by again. The sneer is gone from Cathy's lips. His teeth are clenched in head. He pounds his cold hail and his back upon the flesh. And now the pitcher holds the ball. And now he lets it go. And now the air is shattered by the force of Cathy's blow.